Hello and welcome to this channel, the channel which can help you keep money in your pocket and also help you put some money in your pocket. This is the Cheapskate channel and we're going to go on the put money in your pocket type of uh, track today and I'm going to talk about ways that people actually do make money that I've actually seen and that is real and some of the things that you have actually seen too uh, I'm quite sure that you've probably watched the TV shows and have watched the um, the storage auction type shows on TV and when I first saw those things I thought well hmm, I don't know if that's really real or not but um one of my daughters used to work at a place that had those storage auction type bins. Well, the, the type of bins where people place things on storage. And they used to put stuff up for auction. So I, I pulled her to the side and I asked her a few questions and she explained the process to me. And she said, yeah, the stuff that you see on TV is similar to what actually goes on there. She says, not quite as much drama and you don't have the same type of people coming in with all the braggadocio and stuff like that. But you can go and get interesting things out of those storage bins. And she worked, used to work for uh, one of the major uh, rental type places where you can go rent the trucks and store stuff and stuff like that. I won't mention her name here. And she, she's not an employment uh, a manager there anymore. She's gone on to greener pastures. But she did fill me in on what exactly went on there at the uh, storage auction things where they do come up and they do have the thing where they pop the lock and the guy comes up with his little auction, you know, and goes through and people bid on it. And uh, once you get through bidding, you pay. And uh, it's a viable way for you to get stuff to sell on eBay, or you know, put it on Craigslist if you don't if you aren't into the eBay type thing, or if you have a secondhand store or sell stuff to secondhand stores, kind of like the folks on the storage auction shows do. It's a it's a good way to also do that. It is an actual way to make money. Uh, another interesting thing that was came from a personal experience to me because I used to work with this gentleman uh, years ago I used to be a truck driver and uh, one of the many things that I've done in my life uh, uh, this is very interesting because I used to work for a guy that used to scrap air conditioners uh, I'm not talking about the itty bitty little units uh, that you see in the windows although he can't do that I'm talking about the big commercial units that you see on top of buildings that you see out back. Uh, you know, he he used to take them, and he had a crew, and he had, it was the it was the damnest thing I've ever seen in my life. He had invented a number of pieces of custom equipment so that he can disassemble and scrap the thing. And you know what you can get from scrapping um, air conditioning units? Those things are filled with copper honeycombed of copper and copper is very expensive and I used to go drive the truck and go pick up the units and uh, it was a big truck you know I used to drive a tractor trailer truck where we go and it was called a crane job and they had a big crane that hoist the units down on my truck and I used to drive it back to his lot and they used to pull it off the truck and it was a bunch of guys started stripping it and I used to take the carcasses to the bone yard or the metal scrappers they used to weigh the you know the casing and stuff for the unit and uh, they pay and they, they used to pay in cash before uh, they put a lot of clamps on that type of thing in Georgia and then I used to go back and he had another truck and we went to the precious metal yard with that truck and it was a truck full of copper and we used to go there and that was the big check and then he also used to reclaim the refrigerant or the Freon in the unit and he used to compress it and put in a number of compressed bottles and I used to carry that to yet another place where he got yet another check for that it was extraordinarily lucrative for it and he if you were to see his business you would never think anything like that was going on there because he was renting a lot he had converted 
some uh, big, you know, those containers that ride on the back of the trucks that uh, the ships bring in. He converted three of those into an office and a meeting room and living quarters for, and this was all at the back of his lot along with the scrap units that he was recycling. And he had leased a lot there and he lived on site. Very interesting uh, profession that he had and very, very lucrative. And he said he got into it uh, by servicing washing machines. You know, it's, it's all sorts of things you can do out here to hustle and make money. You don't have to go to school and go make and go learn how to do things. Some people do do well being spoon fed, but some other people, if you go in and learn hands on, you can make an incredible amount of money, much more than these so-called degree people who spend years in school and they end up working at, you know, at a fast food joint after that, where some other people go in, learn what they have to do, get out and make money. Just like when I, when I learned how to drive a truck, I was eight, nine weeks of that stuff. Then I went out and I worked and I drove a company truck. Then I worked some more, bought my own truck and I really made incredible amounts of money. Unfortunately, my health kind of got the best of me and I had to give all that up. But I'm saying that you, there are plenty of things you can do to generate bank so that you can go and make plenty of money. Anyway, uh, I will share with you some of the other experiences I have. Oh, one more that I think is very interesting. There was a gentleman also, and he lives in this place of business too. He is a furniture refinisher. I won't say that's a job. He's more like a craftsman, but he learned his skill uh, by many years of trying to uh, observe people. And he was trying to get people to learn and looking for people to teach the skill too. And he had clients all the way up and down the Eastern Seaboard. And he did beautiful work. You could take him a drawing or a picture of a piece of furniture and he could reproduce it faithfully for you it looked like the original and the guy had skills and he was self-taught basically you can make plenty of money here you don't have to go depend on somebody for a job and you don't have to go depend on a school to give you some type of credential so somebody can go and hire you and pay you a, a dollar and a quarter just enough for subsistence income you know you can really really enhance your prospects on life by keeping your eyes and your ears open to opportunities out there and learn. There have been lots of opportunities that I've been exposed to and I've missed out on a lot of opportunities too. And it's just up to you to figure out what you can do. In other words, you need to learn how to hustle, learn how to really hustle, get out there and do it and don't be afraid to try it. There are plenty of things where I just went and tried something. You'd be surprised at where you learn stuff just by observing. Just like if you want to do home repair. Go to uh, the big, big box home stores. You know, I went, I learned how to do ceramic tile. I learned how to do plumbing. I learned how to do electrical. I learned how to do wallpapering. I learned how to repair those old, those old type houses that had the plaster walls on it. I didn't learn. I didn't pay to learn how to do that. I, it was taught to me from free, but simply going and observing. Another thing down here in Georgia, they have an outfit called Habitat for Humanity. You can go learn how to do carpentry there by volunteering to help work on the houses because they have seasoned carpenters there who will show you their trade. And you're doing something good by helping other people get a decent place to live. And at the same time, you're helping yourself get a skill that you can go make some bank on. You know, there are plenty of things to do out here to generate income so that you don't have to be a slave to someone else in income. And also so that you can have more resources to save, you know, and enjoy things. Spend money on what you want to spend money on. And at the same time, be cheap when you need to be cheap and not give your money away to people who really don't deserve it. Anyway, enough of my rant. And uh, hopefully this information has been helpful to you and give you some kind of ideas there. It kind of hopefully it will give you some ideas about what to do to generate income. Please like and share this video and pass it on and tell them where you heard it from and uh, have people come back here and listen to me rave and rant sometimes about how to be cheap and also how to make money. 
Anyway, we'll see you next time with more interesting stories and hopefully helpful hints to increase your quality of life. Thanks a lot and see you next time.